Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Diddy. I'm going to try to talk a little bit more slowly today because I have a video with a shitload of crazy cool charts that you need to see. These charts are telling you exactly what is happening in Bitcoin for Bitcoin at the moment. And I think it's very interesting to see um, all the facts that I'm going to share today. So, that's why I'm sitting. I need to sit with all these charts today. Let's go. One, two, three. Over here. We will start with the short term. It's a four hour chart. On the four hour chart, you can see that we are fighting that EMA ribbon. Okay. The EMA, EMA ribbon flipped bearish over here. And when the yellow line came down, I think it was already, already earlier, like all the way over here. Yellow line on top, bullish. Yellow line on the bottom, bearish. Every time we try to break it, we don't succeed. You see, we come back again. Here we almost flipped bullish again, but bam, bearish. So we are fighting that. The resistance is now at that level of 48,600, a yellow line. And then when we fight that, we need to break all the way up to the top, stay above it for some time before this one flips bullish again okay that is the four hour now that is bitcoin um a short jump to this one this one is uh, ethereum because the ethereum usd dollar chart usdt is also usable in the bam people ask me is it only the bitcoin that you can trade with the bam bam indicator no you can also trade ethereum like you can see this is the ethereum four hour chart you could have bought ethereum here you could have sold over there, you could have bought over here, you could have sold over there, and you should have bought over here again. That is when you're spot trading. If you're leverage trading, you need to do the triple confirmation. You need to have the candle closing above the yellow stepping line, you need to have the green hills on the bottom, you need to have bam bam crossing over there, preferably the green line on top as well. So, but that's a long story now. Okay, um, if you want to trade this, go to the bitcoinfamily.com to sign up for the Bam Bam indicator. If you want to use crypto um, exchanges, at the moment, Bybit has something really cool. If you go to more and then to Launchpad over here, you can see that if you just hodl their bit token, you participate in all their new IDO launches. This one is coming up. So um, if you hodl these bit tokens, you can join this one so you can uh, click learn more and then you can just go here log in and then you join it's really cool and then you get free allocations in all their ideas they did already a few and they all were massive really cool use our affiliate links to get signed up because then you get the special bonuses up to three thousand no now up to four thousand one hundred us dollar at the moment okay now let's go to the charts enough commercial time bam here this one is a day chart. On the day chart, we are finding support on that thick red line, this one over here. The thick red line, that one is the 200 day moving average. If I double click it, you can see it, it's a 200. We are finding support over there, very important. If we don't find support over there, we could fall back lower and that is what you can see on the weekly chart over here, bam. On the weekly chart, we could then fall back lower, um, even to the top, bottom of this cloud at 37, but in my opinion, that is not going to happen. Also in the weekly, the Bam Bam was telling us to sell over there, to buy over there. Weekly time frame, this is like a little bit more easy going trading because you buy at a level of, let's say you bought a little bit late over here, 34, you sold at the level here, a little bit late of uh, 62. That's how it works on the weekly with the Bam Bam indicator. But that one, you need keep to keep an eye on that midline. This now, this is the 50 weekly moving average, that thick red line. We are finding support on the 50 weekly moving average, and that should be the support. Also, when you look at the downward line that we broke, we are retesting that line, which is also a very good sign, in my opinion. If we keep support here, we could blow up here again to that 70k that we are all waiting for a new higher high. At the moment, not freaking out. We have a low, we have a higher low. This one is still higher. So the only thing we need now is a higher high and maybe then again here a higher low because this was the high and this was the high. 
So you can see the movements low to the high, to a higher low, to a higher high, to a higher low, and now we should make that move. If we don't make that move, we can fall down and wear it too. Bam, that is what we can also see on the monthly. On the monthly, you can see you will find down, fall down into the next support level, which is again around 37k between there and 40. I think there's a huge support at 40k, so that one will be difficult to fall by, be, uh, below, but you never know. This orange line, double click it, 12 moving average on the yearly chart, on the monthly chart, sorry. So we are finding support on that as well. So all those important lines we are finding support all the rsis are still not looking that bad this monthly candle is going to close in like 20 days so we still have 20 days to create a green candle out of this now red candle and yes that is possible because bitcoin just needs to go then to above this line above 56k if we go above 56k this candle turns green again everything is possible in bitcoin also in the weekly the rsi bottoming out on the daily RSI bottoming out. Just look to the RSI in the daily. Every time we touch that dotted line on the bottom, one more time, talking here, look what happened. We went up to that, that. Look what the price did. We bottomed. Look what happened over here. That was the bottom. The price up. We are bottoming. In my opinion, we should be followed up by that again. Okay? Now, that were these charts. Now we are going to jump into a few more amazing charts that will help you understand everything a little bit more. We go over, bam, here. This is the first one. This one is telling you that the balance on exchanges is decreasing tremendously. We are now here. This is even lower than May. And every time when the balance on exchanges goes down big time, there's a reaction of the price. And that is what we can see on BAM this chart. On this chart, you can see that every time when the balance, here you can see in the top, net transfer volume from and to exchanges. When the red lines means we are pulling the Bitcoins from exchanges. And every time we pass this purple line, like around 25K, 23K, 22K, look what the price is doing. This was the balance, BAM. All bitcoins going from the exchanges the gray line shows you what happened with the bitcoin price from that moment that we had that low balance look bam all the way to this level a huge run now here again huge red wall of balance of the exchanges but here huge run of bitcoins from exchanges what happened with the bitcoin price huge run this is 28k to almost 50k guys huge run here again balance from huge run now again we are nearing that level of 23.2k bitcoins leaving the exchanges what do you expect if you look to these four no three previous purple dots every time we run what do you think is going to happen now? Very interesting chart. Now, here on this one, we can see that the hash rate of Bitcoin broke all time highs, guys. This means that this is the highest hash rate we have ever had. Even with the breakdown of all the miners in China, blah, 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 over here in May. Now we are back in a higher level of hash rate than we have ever been. We are we at the moment have a 182 exa hashes hash rate, hash rate. That is huge. So there is a lot of fear in the market. I understand that because of all these dumps. But that's what happened in 2017 as well. We had dumps of 40%, 30%, 40%, like an average dump of 36% of those six dumps that we saw in 2017. But all the fundamentals, the hash rate, and even... Um, this one over here that bam the number of addresses with a non-zero balance are still looking bullish to me what is this Didi? numbers with a zero yes this is the chart with number of addresses with non-zero balance so there is balance on it do you see any like any trend <laughs> this yellow area is the amount 
of addresses with a non-zero balance and the gray line is the price. The moment these addresses increase, the price is increasing. And if you look from 2015, December, so January 2016, all the way to now, the amount of addresses has been increasing and the price has been increasing almost in line with the amount of addresses. So we can keep an eye on this one as well to see if we can see this huge peak in amount of addresses that we saw over here. That would be the blow off top. Here, this bump that looks at the time we were at that period, that looked like this bump. This is a blow off top. We are waiting for that blow off top in addresses, blow off top in price and all of it. Now, I hope, bam, that was a very tranquilo video. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope you understood everything I was saying on this beautiful Saturday. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Please leave down below in the comments what do you think about these charts. Are you in fear? Are you thinking of selling your bitcoins? Because always remember, the moments you have the most fear, the moments you think, I need to sell my bitcoins, is probably the moment you need to buy your bitcoins. The moments you think, oh, I need to buy more bitcoins, I need to buy more bitcoins, that's probably the moment you need to sell your bitcoins. Our mind, our psychology um, is doing exactly the opposite of what we should be doing, mostly when it comes to trading. That's why we are emotional human beings. And, and in trading, the emotions need to be shut down. And the emotions need to be replaced by rational calculations and analy analytics of the charts. Now, uh, please always remember on this beautiful Saturday to zoom out in Bitcoin and try to zoom in the life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day without freaking out of every single minute change on the Bitcoin charts. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again.